Are we headed to a, another crisis as far as food prices are going? Have you been in your local stores lately and checked out what is going on and how the shortages are still there and the prices of meat and everything that are going up? I believe that we could be headed in this direction. Let's talk about it. Coming up next. <laughs> So you've been in your grocery stores, you grab your basket, you go do your shopping. Even though you got to wear your mask and maybe some hand sanitizers or gloves, depending on where you're at, I guess. You go into your local Walmart, it was just there just the other day. They no longer have any other certain type of products as far as like your family pack of uh, chicken breast that used to cost you $1.99. Now they don't even have them. You have to buy the small packs that are running you $3.99 to $6.99. And that is all at all my local grocery stores. If anybody out there has any information on what your stores are about, please put the comment below. Even at your big, huge Sam's, Costco's, and everything else, things are getting limited. Things are getting more expensive. The prices on all type of food products are going up. If you do not see the writing on the wall, you need to really pay attention because each week everything keeps rising in prices and things get less on some of the shelves. Cleaning supplies is another good one, but that's for another video. Chicken breast has become a hot commodity. All of a sudden now when you go to the store you can only buy the small packs and you have to pay the premium price between, like I said before, $3.99 and $6.99 a pound when you used to be able to get it for a dollar ninety nine and a family pack and you would get on the average at least eight chicken breasts. Whole chicken prices have also gone up. You used to be able to get those for ninety nine cents a pound also and now I noticed this weekend at my local Walmart they were two ninety nine a pound. Things are just rising people. We need to wake up and be prepared. Chicken is the cheapest meat that you can buy, and now it's starting to rise in prices. It is just going up and up. If you have a freezer, maybe it's a good idea to stock up now. Or, if you have the ability, maybe you should start raising your own chickens. If you live in an area or have a homestead, and you can have the ability to do this, it might be a good idea. This way you can get your eggs and your chicken, and you're raising it and you know what it's being fed. Meat, on the other hand, as far as red meat goes, is also just through the roof. Ground beef is now $5.49 a pound. Just keeps going up. If you want two ribeye steaks at Walmart, now at Walmart, they're $24.98 for two ribeye steaks. It is just ridiculous. Most people can't afford any of this kind of stuff. Maybe buying steaks could be the thing of the past for a lot of people because they're just not going to be able to afford it. Even with any help that they are getting from the government. There are some cuts of the meat that are still cheaper. Your cube steaks, as I call them. But those are also up in price at $4.99 a pound. Like I said, if anybody's seen the prices go up in your area, please comment below. I'm curious to see what it's doing throughout the country or throughout the world. And like I said before, maybe if you do have a homestead or if you know a local farmer that produces and sells meat, eggs, cheese, milk, butter, you may want to start checking into that because at least if you're buying it from a farmer, you're getting fresh products. You know what it's been fed. It's free roaming. It's not being like locked up inside of a barn in a little cage. There is a big difference between the taste of the meat, between 
free roam and caged. And you can really tell the difference. And right now, you pay a top premium price for the free roam. So if you have a farmer's market or something that you can go to, support your local people. Because coming soon, that may be all that's left. And you may be the one that has to start producing your own stuff. You know, even at Walmart, everything has gone up. And it's hard to get certain products, at least in my area. Like I said before, comment on what's going on in your area. Be nice to know. Sometimes it's just hard to believe. And even the price of pork, the other white meat, that's also going up in price. A pack of four pork chops with a bone in, like you see in the picture here, is now almost $10. It's ridiculous. But that's because of the food shortages, the meat shortages. <clears throat> If you can also, like I said, hit your farmer's markets. Even if you got to put a mask on, do your social distancing, whatever. At least you're supporting the local farmer and you know what you're getting. And usually you can pick out whatever it is that you would like from your fruits, vegetables, eggs, meats. You know, a lot of them have a lot of the different types of vegetables. It's coming down to where a lot of people are going to start having to do a lot of things themselves or making their own homemade bread to, you know, trying to raise your own meat as far as chicken or beef, pork, if you have the room. And that's going to be a big problem for a lot of people in the big cities. You can do breads and things like that. But how are we going to keep feeding all these people in this world? Millions and millions of people. And people that just don't seem to see the food shortages that are coming. The prices are going so high, people are out of work. It's going to be very difficult for them to try to maintain. The government it is trying to help and they send out all this money and they're giving you stimulus money and they put more money into your unemployment but how far is that going to go eventually it's all going to run out and with inflation it's just getting worse and worse it's going to be for long and the dollar bill is going to be worth nothing if we keep going on this same track writings on the wall people <clears throat>